In previous videos, I've mentioned how forge welding is mostly about heat and contact. To get good contact between the stem and the collar, I first forge my stick of steel into a half round using the bottom die, followed by bending it around the stem with the flat side end, then cutting it off while leaving a little gap, fluxing and moving on to the forge welding heat. In the last forge welding heat, I'm also taking the time to forge the collar down to give more surface area to rivet against later on. Nature doesn't work in orderly lines, but rather in chaotic looking patterns. For roses, I like to bend the petals up so that they overlap each other all the way around, and the rings are staggered going outwards, the gap between two petals ending up in the middle of the petals on the next row out. And there's no point in trying to get it perfectly symmetrical. Nature likes perfection and symmetry, but in my experience it's more like perfect flaws.
For these roses, I chose to forge the stainless steel blanks cold for the simple reason that I like the shine on them, and I wanted to keep them that way. It's only one millimeter thick and very doable to forge gold, although it is a fair bit tougher than simple iron. The rose petals are laser cut by a local company here in Norway, and if you're looking for materials or plans for making your own roses, I have them for sale over on my website, lowensmeer.no. They're available in both iron and stainless steel, and in three different sizes. If you want to support making more of these videos, you can head over to patreon.com slash rasmuslowen. There's detailed descriptions of projects, highly secret stuff. And if you're Norwegian, there's even access to the book about blacksmithing I'm currently writing. Links to all of them things are in the description. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.